Look at the, he said, like, this one is covered. No, but what ah, I'm okay. saying, look at the holes. I was complaining about this at the YC, YC kilo, 50 kilometers. On, on it's not, you, you see the quality of the asphalt that Habi Ford has done? It's, it's dense. It's dense. It's much more dense than the one we have. Denser than this one. Because we cannot afford to have this, this little, or are you going to level it? No. You know, um, uh, it's different because why? Uh, you know, they have I think, six, six centimeters. Six, six no, even even where they did so the, 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 no, where they did the, the, the where they did the trial, the trial at, uh, and the actual you know the other P19. one. Yes, P19. Yeah. But where they finish the That's one kilometer? Yeah. Asphalt semi -grunion. That one is better. Semi Maybe it's the calibration of your 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 asphalting machine. No, we cannot allow this. this one it's not going to last long. Like yeah. yeah, I think you know who consultants use you are the ones who should pick this because <laughs> this quality is not good. You know? Okay, it's uh, not level. We have, we have uh, no, we, we have two things we have the asphalt uh -huh. as material and we have the paving machines. We have our reserves with this machine. It's a small machine that we don't be, think it's suitable for this problem. So let them bring the right machine. You should you should not only reserve. You should you should put it in writing. If you are opposed to it, put it in writing and then tell us. Now because are we are the client. There are also some samples that were taken here from the lab. We also have the, we have the, uh, the, the technical specifications. That we have because the double surface dressing was not good. From Bunyadu to here to the, to the end there, and we cannot allow the asphalt to be the same as well. So before they go any further, let them calibrate their machine properly, use the right machine, and then let this be better than this. Please, we cannot accept it. Okay. Now, from a consultancy standpoint, and as the authority, two things that we have to do. We cannot allow this to happen anymore. Yeah. You have to verify the product at the time of delivery. At the time of delivery don't accept placement if it is not suitable and in conjunction with the specifications don't because right now you know that's why we are in the situation because so on the 50 kilometers the complaint was you know the vehicles have not started using it but we are seeing the same thing here yes <laughs> you know yeah so 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 from now you know let, let's let's virtually just verify everything upon delivery when the product's been delivered at, at, at site. Look at Battle Hardin. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same as first. The first course. You you want to compare it with this? You are my technical advisor. <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> Chan, is is this a quality asphalt? So I mean we cannot have consultants. Where is the trial mix done? I mean the, the trial section, where was it done? In the camp. The at camp. the camp. Okay. Your camp there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the camp there. Okay, so, 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 so what was sure the performance like? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so now, from now on, let's just you know, make the, the order of the day. Bunny, make sure you know our team, whoever our representative is. We cannot settle for less. Yes. We cannot compromise quality. quality. Okay? You hear that? Uh, that one, yes. we cannot do that. And that's a directive. Yeah. From now on, you know, we cannot. They are charging us for a quality Material. job to be done here. So we cannot allow a lesser quality job okay so so what Please. i would prefer for you guys to do is we don't even allow them to place it if the material shows up at site and and we have to do this you have to do it in conjunction you know with you know with the authority bunny whoever our representative is so this at site at the time of placement you verify the material if you disqualify the material you know let the nr representative know on the spot okay and let them take it back you know to the plant don't allow them you know to put it on the ground is that is that okay thank you very much thank you and then call women can you make about npv media and communication baron media empowerment and then say i'm balling you make a color nothing that may along for another can i see a project on you be me along all of it do go can the honorable minister ibrahim asila uh nata anata ni sulu late and the back of the co kenya from the kegang you may have a long young dame ya long co uh contract all the charger of the economy Amount of Mansa Kundala, Joro Kara Fabanda, Bardoko Mbeke Kanjang, Minister Meitani Wolam Nindiko, Doko Nimantara Nyaboring, Ko Ito Laftala Nyame. 
dinkra dolo ol manke komen jambe nyama bar dinkra dolo dame ni alon ko e kata ko tan hani jam fo ngala ni ko ay tan dile ka ay tan diko spesin din katara mana mano nyin kan dame yalon ko mana jio nyin mana keso nyin e buka na ki ba ka nyola so do way ay tan diko do ko nyi to lafta la nyame am antra ke ka wonyama bala ni ko ane ni suno yitan di kan do ko ke nyala me yalon ko wala be ke kan hakala silo nyin kan jang comme nga fale nyame ndoro ma sakunda la karola même bi je wolam nyin diko na fulo to su dunno wala anen kabule no ma kajube do ko nyimbe ta kan nyadile na fulo jotale ina rabule no ma na to do ko nyal je men yalo ko do me nyafa anen say e directif di kayitan diko o do ko lo to lafta la nyama e kew nyama wala contractolo e to le anon ni be laban na min dola anon sonda nyen nako na man ka nyama contracto nyimbe tale bulle kadi contracto do la o to ngal konto bake kal tendu kal jayi yusuf kebe la min tura bir kamanda aslame baro media empowerment npp media and communication ala baraka bak Badi ngolo ngali kondong kali chandu kali jai <hesitation> mbale damen to ren janeng kira wan ninja wara di <hesitation> damen alongo silo men boda kira wan kara ninja wara nain o ten kilometers road ni musil alti me alongo kilometer konon to wala tang konto wala bijang damen alongo <hesitation> afanam be doku kana bar doku ni mam bam folo <hesitation> ni minister be silo kam men kira honre bul minister ibrahim asil lati me alongo anara puru kana o proje ko le jube. <hesitation> bira fura jam fana <hesitation> yusuf ayala niku ya itan di bake silola kenya la me ya longko <hesitation> kenya me mbe kekang ko me mbe menfo kan doro wala mnyen diko kontraktul me kontrakol di la purka silolo doku akira kole aku balu di purunyi nga silolo ke laban no anda man kenyen diko men ko kodo mantara sotorin kodo biye <hesitation> bari <hesitation> ko me mola kuli kenya doro wa ya itan di wa ya ona ta ke di la yans di silolo doa doku wala karola <hesitation> bari minista wul da ka silolo be ya ika jube ka silolu jube men wi alon ko be de dakan ka ke sasifana ka itandi la ko nyi silolu nyanta banna la suna as possible a triade nyawo nya nyama nyi silolu nyanta ka banna ana din condition ol la ni men ko laada bake silo e ban wala contract contract ko leta ko men be men fo kan do wolam nyindi ko ni lafta ban ko do ko e ban ko eta nyaado nyi company men ya alon ko be nyi silo do do ko kan company le men ya alon ko gambia di ngol leta muti to lebe marali la Uh, Orang saya ningko gambia bangkoy doku, presiden baron alaman sakunda elu lada purkau silo lu doku, uh, mul meni alongko e kontrako di le tulumu gambia dingolti, e ko bela firi nyaru tala nyim bangko ga hani saya silo lu mamban no doku la, man sakunda nyan ta fon men di le laya di la, bar kontrak tul be nidi aku ul taman di kan silo la karola, men be doku kan silo dolu, ngaje ko sila jamal le doku te banda, bar silo lu bija meni alongko, e mamban no doku la hani saya. Anda manke gofmen na foldo di, woro nyimu fenne di mea longko, <hesitation> me kuman diro kela masa kunda la, me kuman diro kela minista la, puru ka nyim kontrak tul men ya longko, nyim kontrak kol di la, ka jube ri bake la kol la nga longko abe jube ro kekan ne, anu ai simfa luta men ya longko, simfa kendel lemu, puru ka je kon nyim kontrak kol ye banno, <hesitation> mbe albe hon rebul minista fango jala saeng ate me la, <hesitation> anara kana silo lu jube, ala ni sulo lu mumenu di abe oli itan di kang. <hesitation> kulu be kering meni alon ko e kole ata bake bar tuman do bato in cha allah ho <hesitation> vodara kulu kum fa dula tole <hesitation> la hidu luning kut kote ngolo menu di ta wol be tim malal in cha allah. Okay, now right now, anytime you know you have a steep slope and you have an amount of water falling through the steep slope, what happens? Erosion. Erosion. Okay, so what do you do? Can we you minimize you know, the slope. Worried about this uh, building. Okay, that's structure right there. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, where are folks are gonna fall back here? No, I know. It's a Irish road. So you know what he is saying is we are we are not. Um, is it this way or here? Yeah, about the about the structure. This this it seems higher. This place is higher. So where does it go? 
straight. This one will be. This one is coming up. This one coming up. You can bring water. Not attend. Yes, yes. You can attend. I will give you that. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. But I mean, uh, the, 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 the problem within the whole area sometimes you cannot fix. No, 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 no. Yeah, we've got to fix. You have to ensure that I mean, uh, water drains from the road, you know, and then it goes to somewhere. You know. So, so what we try to do is we minimize the damage that we are creating, right? No, right now, you know, look at this right here. Already, you know, just looking at these natural slopes. You know, you know why they put those you know, boulders in here? It's called them boulders for erosion purposes. So, as part of you know the road, whatever it is that you are doing over there. It only takes a few loads of lateral, you know, to dump over here. You know what you are doing? Okay. Okay. So right now, all you are doing is, you know, the, I mean, the slope is steep. You're trying to, you know, depress it a little bit. You know, raise it up a little bit, not depress it, but raise it up a little bit. You understand? To reduce the amount of flow, the speed of the water. That's all you are doing. Now, as far as no way else, you no, know, it goes. If you reduce, you no, know, the, the speed of the flow, it will naturally, you know, flow its course. But you need to know where the destination is as well too. And that way, you know, you minimize the damage. But the biggest damage right now is right here. If you allow, you know, to accelerate, it will cause more you know, erosion in this area. So this way, you know, you actually, you naturally have to fill this area up, you know, and just you know, make it even out a little bit. And, you know, let's just you know, have a gradual, not a drastic you know, flow. Okay, we can, uh, Tony, we look at that. We see, we, we see how to, uh, to address, I mean, uh, this, this section here from, 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 from the road, maybe up to somewhere. Where you allow to go without any damage? The MTM point is where? Is it up to 2 kilometers from here? Yeah, most likely. Ah, then it will cause a lot of damage. Yeah? So, that's it. Sometimes they are. Badding Olu, I'm going to go to the next day. I'm going to go to the next platform. I'm going to go to Media Empowerment, NPP Media and Communication. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Ni watu beko na ni honorable minister Ibrahim Asilla ni wale beta manta ma ola projecto lukeju be meni alongo president barona la mansa kunda be wale keke kambanko kang be musilo ulti o silo lu be wale noma killing killing bari ni tembe na filali njaba kunda njaba kunda musila ulti dame dula ulti dame alongo silo lu be doku kanya o silo alinya be wale je kante honorable minister Ibrahim Asilla Anala mulu kada NRA National Road Authority ibele benyen silo kanjang insha Allah na dia ala ala tram vedro betar la le silo letro dame ni alonko ano Thank you Thank you so much ala baraka ala baraka bake Right, sub grade, sub base, base layer, and double surface dressing. We also have some provision for stabilization, just in case we don't have yes suitable material for the base, then we can stabilize. If not, if the material is fine, then we'll proceed with our stabilization. We also have some few drainage structures. The road was constructed by uh, fast depth. Yes. Yeah, but some of the drainage structures we are not drawn properly, mm -hmm. so we had to yes. Redo them, redo them. No, as at now, I can say we are around twenty percent progress. Twenty percent. Yes, yes. Okay, maximum on twenty-three. No. From so far, you can say sixty-four percent of the subgrade is completed. Okay, but you have to go back and tell them the genesis of the project and the fact that um, what was originally in there was just design, okay. the design was changed substantially to raise the road a lot yes. and a lot of material as a result. So if you want to compare it with what was originally, of course you'll see 20%, but we've, we've laid 70,000 cubic meters of material, so sorry for how this. How many kilometers? We've, 70, of, uh, we've done up to sub... Sub base, sub, base, sub, base, sub, base, sub base, 
up to kilometer 7. seven to 16. 16. Yes, then right now we are working from 16 towards um no from 7 to 0 yeah, yeah. Mm. And then if, if, with the rains coming now if, i've not seen any proper drainage uh done in this it will destroy your work no that's can I talk? <laughs> can I have permission to talk? Okay. You ask a lot of questions, huh? Indeed. I know, but he's my boss. I don't no, want no, to. No, no, you are the contractor. <laughs> yes. He's but just a. He's my boss on this project. I don't want to ta take it from him. Yeah. yeah, actually, we are mobilizing to start the. Um, the drainage structures. I don't know whether why they haven't even started, but we have four culverts along this stretch. And another one over there between kilometer zero, around kilometer four or something. And then we have three or four Irish crosses. So we are looking to mobilize at the end of the month um, to start those drainage structures. Will you finish before end of June? Okay. Maybe July. As long as, as soon as we, if you look, you'll see the um, JCB working somewhere. So we are trying to dig an earth dig so that. Um, people's compounds and all that they have will not yeah will not be flooded so we are doing those temporary measures as well for them to think okay you want me okay okay huh? a little bit too ambitious 17 kilometers to be done within 12 months I think that is that is too that is a lot to do within that time frame. What type of road is it supposed to be? Is it just a double service? Double service, service yes. But if you look at the Materials layers, yeah. material, the quarries are nearby. Yeah, nearby. So, yes. so payment, so payment, so payment, so payment we don't have any payment, material payment. They have almost three graders here on the ground. What is the level of mobilization? They are fully mobilized here. Fully mobilized? Yes, they have and equipment, three graders. Okay, what's, what's, what's the existing soil type like currently? No, there was an already. There was some material here before, existing road, there was gravel existing road. road. Okay. Yes. So you improve on that one to add some few layers on top of it. That is three layers, subgrade, sub base, sub -base and, okay. yes, and base. We're starting from scratch, basically. Uh, for, for that, 12 months is bad. No, no, the 12 months is not bad. I think yeah. that was feasible, actually. The reality is... Um, how, how robust was your supervision? Because no, we are here. How many? 24 hours. Our team. No, I mean, but... Uh, um, you, you know why I'm worried about this? Because you you have the you won the contract for the Gunju Road, mm -hmm. inside road, mm -hmm. and also the shoulders from Brikama yeah, to yeah, this place, yeah. uh, Mandi, my, 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 yeah, Mandina Bar. And we cannot allow that Gunju Road to be delayed again. Right? The reason why we took it from the former contractor was his lack of uh, performance. Non performance. His non performance. So really, um, we cannot allow, that one is like, what, how many kilometers, five? Three. point five. So we, we, we expect that to be finished within at least a very short period of time. Okay, can I explain? No, no. There is a huh? delay. Can <laughs> what? Uh, it's, some, it's something that we need to look at, uh, discuss later on. Because there are issues that are coming up, that are reported to me, that we really look, need to look at. Yes, so that's something. Yeah, uh, the process is uh, 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 a challenge that has been brought to my attention. Not only the compensation, in terms of uh, the way that it was all processed to the award, there is, there is a challenge on it. But that's something that we will discuss later on. Yeah. But just to alert her that uh, we will not allow the delays anymore. Uh, Madam Sengo, we want to encourage a lot of Gambians in the sector. But uh, in as much, no, no, I, well, let me finish, let me finish, let okay. me learn. Okay. In as much as we want to uh, encourage Gambians in the sector, we cannot allow certain things to happen. First is the quality. We will not compromise on that. Two, all these unnecessary delays. Because these things are giving us a very bad name. You know, the public perception index, you know, we are low, 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 low there <laughs> because of the non-performance of contractors. So definitely, I mean, uh, we want to see a lot of progress on this road. You know, it has been going on since the last, 
last May. So I told we were going to see uh, some significant progress. Yes, yes. I know contractors will always have their excuses, but you know, you were, you were one time our staff. So, you know, well, a, long <laughs> a long time ago. So, Will you give, give me an opportunity yes. to explain? Yeah, we, we can. Okay. Yes. The contract was signed in May yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. After we signed, I took, uh, was it signed in May or March? And then we were given commencement May, order. commencement order. And the whole idea was it, the design, the um, they, ha they created a bypass and then people were growing there. It was the rainy season. Okay. So all we could do in May was to clear that bypass so that they don't come and then um, start to quarry material, which we did. We had a lot of stockpile. Now we, look, we came in, we looked at it, we had our initial meeting, we looked at the design and we felt the design could be improved on. So we came back all over and did a complete survey and uh, we presented to the ministry a complete document to say that the road will be too low. And it, there's no point making, in certain areas, the road was even lower than the surrounding ground. Mm. That's a recipe for losing your road within a short time, if the road is low, if the drainage is not good. So that was during the rain season. We wrote to them and said, this is the design. We want to start as soon as the rains are over. Um, it took them, we came, we mobilized on the 1st of October. It took them till end of October to actually give us the go ahead. Now, in terms of when you talk about 20% or 30%, you are relating it to the previous quantities that were here. Now, Phil, um, in the bill or something, I think it's about 20,000. With the new design, the fill quantity is like 70 or 90,000 cubic meter. So you cannot judge us based on what's originally there. You should judge us based on, and we only started November, December, January, February, March, April, May, seven months. And we've, we have transported over seven to going to 90,000 cubic meters of material. Okay. Good question. No, we are not judging you. No, no, no. I'm just, let me just finish and explain because everything there is a justification for it. Beyond that, in terms of mobilization, and he's talking about Gunjur as well. No, no, he mentioned it. So, yeah. I'm just saying. My whole idea is not to just stick to one project at a time. And we had ordered a brand new generate, uh, um, what's it called, brand new, what, all the equipment they have asked for in that tender, we have, and, on, and it's not being worked with anywhere. I brought it here to reinforce because um, we hadn't heard anything about that new project, and we're wait, waiting. but. We have three bulldozers. We ordered another. We have two wheel loaders. One wheel loader broke down. We brought it. We have an excavator. We now, as of now, okay, we have an axle problem with one of the graders, but we have three graders. So in terms of, and we have a recycler as well. Now with the recycler, there are problems. We bought it from, during the rainy season. It came to Dakar during the rainy season, and it rained. Um, it rained um, heavily and the water went into the engine. So we lost that. The Chinese came and all that so that they sent the engine. It's arriving on the 10th of June. So it's not that we just sit down and think everything that happens we try to mitigate it. We don't want to be a one job contractor and that's why we, we have taken a lot on ourselves so that we can we can be up there when it comes to Gambian contractors. That's the whole idea. So we don't want to just work the whole year like this. Number one, you don't you are not taking into consideration the actual work started around first of November. Well November to now is six 
six months. But we seven ha- months. But we ha- you you should have seen this road. Unfortunately, it didn't come, and you drive around all. Yeah, we were going to, we were giving you more time. No, so, but, but today, I think you today should... Today is the most appropriate... No, no, but no. you should have come when we started and see what was there. <laughs> no, we and were getting we... reports from uh, Yeah, but you should uh, go... Okay, now, you lead yeah. us. We, we, we what see... did you want to say? No, I, I was going to ask Tony, who did the original design? Yeah, also we team. Also we team did the original design. Okay. And she did the second design. Yes. Okay. What were the comparisons? first design you know versus the second design that warranted because that's a dramatic change in volume if you're looking at the total amount yes. if we're talking about you know 20,000 you know cubic yeah, meters of lateral you know to 70, 70, 50, 000, 000 yes. yeah so there's a 50,000 difference in there so you're virtually raising some elevations you know much higher than what was proposed because the culverts they didn't take into the boat wherever you have a culvert you have to be they didn't. Not necessarily, you know. I mean, you have to look at the surrounding terrain as well too. Yeah. In, in some cases, you know, you virtually just need to come back and you know, create you know swells that can actually you know help you to cover us as well too and discharge the water you know to wherever your collecting points are. You know, we're all hydraulic engineers in this right here. No, so, no, but but my yeah, well, yeah. civil hydraulics are actually yeah. part of civil. Yeah. But it, it, this is my thing right now. You know, to empathize you know, with you and right along you know, with what Honourable is saying, we're going to encourage Gambian contractors especially Gambian women contracts. I think you're the first, right? Mm. So, I mean, let, let me tell you something. I, I can actually sense Honorable's voice really dropping real, real, real low compared to where he was. And, you know, he, he's not yet no screaming we, at all. We do try a lot. But we do need to push and ensure that the project is completed. Right now, we can even say on time. So whatever the issues were, my we question to you is... Right, extension. Extension. Extension now. And with the justification. You know, everything you do, yeah, no, no, I'll, 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 it has to be justified. justified. No. And we have applied for with justification. What can we do technically to assist you okay. so that you can expedite the process? Me? Yes. The only thing you can do is pay me on time and give me more work. That's all I want from NRA. From can we do that? Let's, let's complete this one and Gunjur. Yeah, I said, let's complete this one and Gunjur. And the soldiers. Is still friendly. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, maybe you know what I was. I thought it was already ordered. No, no. No, no. No, no. no, no. Oh, no, no, okay. no. This is my thing. For me, you know, I'm more concerned about this one right here. You know. I mean, I'm not you know, really. We'll get into good you know, when we get started okay, on it. No. If, so, if, if this is the only one she has, right. we push. Exactly. We'll see how to, best we can help you. And then, you know, if NRA is owing her, you know, we tell the NRA. Are we owing you any money? We don't owe any money. Well, it's still in the pro- the process takes okay, time. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the processing time. Let me get something okay. yeah. 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 Referring to the old program based on the quantities, quantities yes. and then hope you've also adjusted in terms the of the the, the the schedule, the the the, the amounts, yeah. all all of those things. Has it been done? Yeah. So then, why is you referring to the old when you already have everything adjusted now? I, 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 no, because you're saying the quantities. The quantities. The quantities. He's, he's, yeah. When he said 20%, he said no, no, no. Because no, I yes. think the 20% is relating it to the original scope. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, the yeah, because once you have changed everything, yeah, design changed, so yeah. everything should I have been changed now. It's relating it to the original yeah. scope. Yeah. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. because based on the program, they submitted to me. Mm-hmm. Right? You submitted the program, work program. Yes, so it's based revised, on that, yes. Or, Based so on their revised, the based on their revised the design, yes. Okay. No, no, that's fair. Actually. Yes, okay. they did. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, they did, this is what I would ask, uh, you know, Miss Miss Senor. In terms of the equipment that I heard you mention, realistically, you know, if you're moving seventy thousand cubic meters of material, those pieces are too small. You don't have enough. Okay. Three one, one recycler. I see a lot of projects here and they're moving equipment all over the place and they don't have enough. That's not the yardstick. <laughs> Hold on, that's not the yardstick. No, no, but two graders, definitely. No, 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 you don't need two graders. Tell me about your bulldozers. I have three bulldozers. Good. Are your bulldozers on this side? Two are on site. One I had to buy. Okay, now this, this one. we have enough material. Go to the quarry. Uh, no, 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 this one thing. I, I'm not doubting um, your material. What, what am I... Okay, when you get the material, you virtually need to spread the material and okay, do what? Works. Compact the material. Right, it needs to be compacted, you know, and you know, put in place. Right, bulldozers are the most effective. You know, you guys, I mean, a lot of garments are stuck on motor graders. That's but why when they I are came, called precision. When I came graders. today, and right. I saw that 
there is material over there that has not been spread. I took the bulldozer from here and I sent it over there to spread. They are all stuck on what you are saying, that is the grader that has to spread. That's why you have a bulldozer to do the spreading. That's why when I came today, I changed that completely. Thank you very much. Good. So now, actually, you know, what you're telling me is you, know, you do have a clear understanding of what it is you know, that it takes to push this project. Now, let's move forward. So we are on the same level on the right? We are on the same level. Right. Understanding. Let's just call it understanding, right? So now, you know, moving forward, mm -hmm. how many trucks do you have that may help bring the material on site since you already have your bulldozers over here, spreading the material, and compactors? I think those are the two that you haven't mentioned. Compactors. Okay, what type? Smooth drum or ship's foot? Well, the ship's foot, they remove it, but we have one smooth drum and one ship's foot. We have a pneumatic, but it's over there in thingy. Okay. Yeah. So the, those are the areas in the way you need to. Your three bulldozers are okay. Your one motor grader is okay for this project. Okay? No, 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 hold on. You need trucks. You need excavators. How many trucks? There you go. I have right now, we have um, working because trucks break down. Right now, we have three 20 cubic meter trucks and three um, two 10 wheel. They are doing 30 trips a day. The distance is short. You go oh, there. Okay. We, are, we are not struggling for trucks. And go, let's go to the compound. They were on break. The distance is short. Yeah, to be able to, to get this done. Yeah, to do the. The, the materials that yeah, is exactly. needed. Yes. And and is, yes. Yeah, five kilometers. Yes. If each of them is doing 30, uh, that's Honestly, if I, if I were to give you... You know what has been our main concern? Water. Okay. And we are working on that. It's here. Well, we dug a borehole. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. But that, that doesn't help you because the borehole, uh, you need a lot of water. Yeah. In the beginning, we didn't have any problem because the material was still wet. Oh. So sometimes um, the water bowser break down. So like, like today, I had a breakdown with the water bowser, but it was here, it's been fixed. Trust me. I think technically you are okay. I am okay. Not okay. No, no, no. no. What is around town? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's not the yardstick again. <laughs> let's let's not look at what's around town. Yeah, let, 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 no, no, no. No, no, no. no. What, what I'm saying is, the, the engagements, the engagements. See, let, let, let's set the tone. Let, no, no, I, allow, allow me, allow, allow me to finish. Let me tell you what we want to achieve. It's not just this. What we want to achieve is to be the best Gambian contractor in wood buildings and boats. We do buildings, yeah, we do roads. Yeah, we yeah. have, we want to be the best, and not only that, we want to employ Gambians. You walk here, and visit, and talk to all our people. You won't see any foreigner leading this company. What's the name of your company? Is it Bajan? Bajan. You won't see any foreigner. That's what you should encourage. No, no, no. Allow me. We are encouraging. Look, look, look trust right. me. <laughs> if, if, if you allow me, we will understand each other. Right. Let's yeah. go move forward, and then we can continue. Yes. <laughs>